Hi, and welcome back to Night of the Dead. So we are going to continue. So we do have to equip a shield, which we do happen to have. So let's see, how do we equip you? Oh, okay. So just do that. That is perfect. Oh, okay. So we're good. Okay, and that should be lock. Attack. Okay, let's go and try this out on a couple of zombies over here. Now it is part of a quest. It just doesn't show right now. Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's fine with me. Got another zombie over here. Let's go and take care of them. Hey, buddy. Oh, that was electricity. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we electrocuted him. <laughs> That's okay. It happens, right? Maybe. Okay, what have you got? Research. Nice. You know what? We're going to keep on grabbing a couple of these. Now, to continue the story quest, which is find the research center, we're going to wait on that. We are going to have to start setting ourselves up on defenses for a horde that's going to come. And uh, yeah, I'd rather be prepared for that. <laughs> so we need to find one more zombie. Let's go see if we could spot one around here. I'm pretty sure there's another one out here, but I don't know where. Now we did take care of all the ones over here. Oh, I see one straight ahead. Oh, I see two. Hey, zombie. Hello. Hello, zombie. Okay, we've got one coming for us. That's okay. Level up. Beautiful. Oh, we got something. Take care. Nice. Hey, you. Hi. I'm going to show you his boss. There we go. Okay, so did that work? So I think it was a combat. Attack, wind, shield, parry, zombie. Oh, I still have to parry the zombie. Oh, okay. We're going to go find another one. Oh, we got a fox over here. I don't know how nice those guys are. So here, let's just go over here. Got a couple of zombies to deal with. Maybe we can finish it. Oh, buddy. Hi. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I think you're going to be... Yeah, you're done with... <laughs> Okay, so that quest is done. Beautiful. So yeah, let's... Um, I don't think we could put our shield down. We're going to have to run with it. That's okay, though. Got some more stuff here that we're going to have to collect. We will eventually go through the town, grab everything we're going to need. But again, we do have to be prepared for that horde because those hordes are no joke. So it's going to last quite a while for the horde night. And um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's see, we're going to need some more wood. So let's start with that. Okay. Hit the tree, hit the tree. And we're going to check to see if any new quest had come up. So here, let's see. Build quest, nothing for build. Nothing for that. So it's main story and nothing for combat. Okay. That's fine. We'll just keep on moving ahead. We'll get this place all set up and hopefully we'll be able to defeat them when Horde Knight does finally show up. Now, I don't know how much logs we're going to need or anything like that. So we're going to go and check. Maybe we might have to go to town, look for a few things, all that fun stuff. Come on. So we are on hour 16. 
So hour 24 is when the horde starts. So we should be able to get something set up for us in this episode. Come on. There you go. Back up a bit. There you go. Okay, let's go see what we could put together over here. Just get stuff put away. So do I automatically equip my shield when I do that? No, I don't. So how do we equip the shield? Hmm. Oh, it unequips. Oh, okay. So you have to equip it. I got it. Okay, that makes sense. So we've got this. This isn't going to be enough stuff. So let's see. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, I think it's in the build. Yeah, the build menu. Okay. So we've opened up. Oh, we've got floors, half floors. We've got walls. Okay, so we could start building an actual base. That is awesome. I'm not going to worry about this right now, or should I? That needs lumber. Uh, put my workbench. I'm not going to worry about the workbenches right now, because, yeah, that's not going to get us far enough. Um. Wow. Okay. Lumber. Processed leather. We don't have any of that. Nails. Rope. And iron plate. Yeah, we don't have any of that. Oh, dear. Yeah, that looks interesting. So we've got that trap. A meat mallet. Oh. Okay. Grinder. Shredder. <laughs> Um, the spiked floor. Nice. A spike floor, a spike trap. The spikes come up from below when zombies walk on top. So that needs lumber, iron, and trap machine. Oh, that could work. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to get some iron and all that going. Compressor. Ooh. Well, aren't you looking sweet? Oh, okay. We're going to use... I like this. I do like this. Huh. We might have to move a few things around at some point, but this could actually be really good for us. So let me see. We need only one iron ingot, a trap machine. Okay, how do we make that trap machine? Which table is it made on? Okay, so you. I need iron, copper wire, rubber, and gear. So the gear needs piece of iron. Okay. So let me see what do we have in here. We have... So I don't want to say there's anything in there for us. But in here... We've got iron. Pieces of iron. Copper ore. We'll take the vines. We'll take some cloth. I don't know if we're going to need it. Maybe some of those. Some logs. We'll need that. The seeds, no. Sulfur, we shouldn't. I'll take the leaves. Okay. Efficiency drops when working in the dark. It's better for one's mental well-being to be in a well-lit environment rather than in the dark. Let's install some fire lighting to make your living space bright and warm. With just a single light, the atmosphere of the base will transform. Let's build a firelight and create a more pleasant environment. Okay. If I must build a firelight, so where are the lights? Um, here, we got lights. So, a lamp. Wall lamp. Ceiling lamp. I guess this must be what he's talking about. So I need a stone and fuel. Yeah, let's just stop that for a second. A fuel. And... Ah, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Be good. So we're going to build you. I guess we could build it, like, right in the center. 
I guess he's happy now. Okay, so I was working on <laughs> some other stuff before I got this erupted by this guy. Uh, you need... Okay, so we need iron, copper wire. Iron, copper wire. So iron isn't a problem. Right, we'll make three of those. Copper ingot. So copper wire needs one copper ingot, and I only have enough for one copper. So we're going to have to go and do a little bit of mining. I'm just going to have to find the right stones for this. Okay, I'm going to say you are one of them. This is hard work. Look at her go. Come on, girl, you can do it. I got faith in you. Come on. Yeah, don't. There you go. Iron. Oh, we got a copper out of that. Beautiful. So we're going to have to try to find some more. I just don't know where we're going to find it all. So this is stone. Oh, maybe that's one there. And I think that might be one over there. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that is one over there. Oh, is that a piggy piggy? Uh, it looks like a piggy. There's a lot of animals in this game. Come on, you got this. Beautiful. I'm gonna go and grab this one. I don't know if we get copper each time. Copper. No, we don't. Okay. That's okay. It's fine. Come on. Oh, there we go. Hey, how about throwing a little surprise party for those zombies? Throwing weapons? Now, that's right up your alley for someone who loves a good surprise. Let's craft some throwing knives or javelins. The zombies are in for a real shocker. Okay, I will take care of that. I'm just going to grab this one. Hopefully I'm going to get another copper out of this. Come on. You could do it. And... Yes, okay, we've got copper. Oh, we've got sulfur out of that one too. <laughs> nice. So we need to do throwing knives and javelins. Okay, and that is through the inventory. So let's see, javelin. How many did I have to do? Uh, three of each. Okay, that's easy enough. So three. Three? That's going to give us like 15 of those and... Um... That. Have you prepared the throwing weapons? Good. Throwing weapons can be easily equipped, thrown, and retrieved, making them handy in emergencies. Try discreetly taking out the zombies with those throwing weapons. Discreetly. Not sure how well that's going to go, but we are going to try. But yeah, we're still working on something here because we need to get prepared because I don't want to be stuck in the last minute. Uh, we need the rubber and we need a gear. So we should have everything for the trap. Okay, that is perfect. Let's put some of the stuff away here. So we don't need seeds on us. So you can stay behind. Ah. Uh, you know what? Let's leave the logs here. We'll leave the fuel. We do have to use these because we've got to throw them at them. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but we're going to attempt it. Here, just take some of this. So what I want to do is I want to do a little exploration over there while we're there. We want to see what we can pick up. So we do know there's a couple of zombies over that way. So how do we discreetly do this? Oh, we've got to do... 10 zombies with throwing knives? Are you kidding? Does one take them out right away or do I just have to throw 10 of them at the zombies? 
guess we're about to find out. Okay, I've got a zombie over here. I just want to get our defenses all set up. wonder if we can creep up on them. Um, that was a fail. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Got him. Okay, we just have to do 10. Not sure I like this weapon. Ow! Hey, you swinging that weapon a bit too hard? If your weapon's durability goes down, every swing, every shot won't pack the same punch. So to keep your weapon in top form, it's gonna need some repairs, right? Think of the equipment repair kit as your weapon's BFF. With it, you can make that worn out weapon feel brand new. Look for the repair tab in your inventory. Select your weapon and repair it with ease. Your weapon's practically screaming for help, so let's get fixing right now. Okay, let me just finish doing what I was doing. <laughs> I don't know how I gotta use this. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's how you do it. I was kind of hoping we could go up and do some jabby jabby, but it doesn't look like that's how you can do it on this one. So, oh, I got a guy over here. And we've only got six of these, so I don't know how I'm going to do. Oh, someone found us. No. Ooh, electricity for the win. Look at that. Okay, and we picked it all back up. Nice. So we still have to do six more. <laughs> oh, dear. This is, uh, yeah, this is something. I want that guy's attention, though. This guy right here. So let's see if we could do this. Oh, we got him. Got him again. Oh, you look like a porcupine, buddy. Come over here. One more. Oh, that one didn't hit him. So we're going to have to do this now. You are done for, buddy. I want my things back here. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I can find that other one on the ground over here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to find it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I found it. So we just need to hit one more. There's a guy over here. I know. We got to get back to building. No, not you. We need you. Oh, he's got a friend in the background there. Yes. Come here, buddy. I'm ready for you. Beautiful. Take it. Okay, we're good. If I put something else in my hand, it takes that out. Yeah, okay. We are looking good. Let's check this house to see what it has. I don't know if there's anybody in here, but I'll find out. I'm ready just in case. Oh, oh, there are people. We're just going to go outside here. <laughs> And let's try this. Oh, 
Owies. Don't do it. Okay, we gotta run. Now we're running because our health is getting a little bit low. So I kind of need to get our shield back on us. Okay. We got this. Okay, we got him. I don't think we have anything for our health right now. <laughs> we'll have to go and relax a bit for that. Ow, that hurt us. Don't do it. Okay. Why are you screaming? Don't scream. I feel a little bit better now. We're gonna go and lie down just to get our health back up because yeah, that hurt just a little too much. We could try to go back in that house, but I don't know if there's anybody else hiding in there. So yeah, we are gonna retreat. But it's okay. We're just gonna go put our head down. That should bring our health up a bit. Uh, we are gonna take these weapons out of our hand. city has truly changed. After people disappeared, animals roam the streets freely. Creatures big and small like rabbits and bears seem to have become the new rulers of the city. It's time to remind those animals who's at the top of the ecological pyramid. Not only are animals an excellent source of protein, but they also provide various valuable materials. However, Using melee weapons can be challenging when hunting swift animals. Using ranged weapons like bows or guns could make hunting more effective. How about trying to hunt a small rabbit? Approach your target cautiously and aim for the perfect timing. We'll attempt it. Okay, I think our health is looking good enough for now. So here, let's get back to this. So I wanted to put one of those traps down that way. So if I could put... Uh, what do you call it here? Foundations going that way and that way. It should lure, uh, lure them into the middle here. The thing is, I don't want to get us stuck in here. So it's going to be something interesting. Oh, we're going to put traps around the outside too. Like the spike traps and things like that. Hopefully that will help a bit. Uh, So what else did we need? So here, let's go into the build. And we want to go to traps. Where's traps? Are you traps? Crafting tables. No. Oh, here we go. Okay. So we wanted to try you. So I need nails, rope. Okay, we'll start with that. Nails and rope. Take the logs. Iron. Stone. Take the leaves. Branches. Just the normal stuff to start with. And yeah, there's nothing in here that we need. Okay, so nails. Not here. Okay, not, not there. Oh, here we go. So we need a couple of more. So let's do five nails. Uh, we needed some rope, so we'll do like five rope. We need... One plank, four lumber. One plank, four lumber. One plank and four lumber. Uh, one of you. And four of you. Okay, we should be able to build this now. I'm kind of hoping this is going to go on the ground over here. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. Oh, it should. Okay. I'm going to rotate you. And we want it to go... Oh, it sounds like something's coming for us here. Oh, there is somebody coming. Buddy? Okay. <laughs> well, that works for one of them. Oh, we're gonna have to reload you. Perfect. 
I don't know why he decided to come and play with us. Let's try this again. So we're going to rotate you. And if we do it like that. Okay, I hope that's going to work. Oh, did I put it backwards? Oh, I think I put it backwards. Oh, man, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think there was a uh, one to, yeah. I don't know what we're going to lose, but you know what? It's going to be trial and error. And as far as high as it went up, it came down just as quickly. So we need uh, three more rope, one blank and, oh man. Okay, let's try this again. One, one. And rope is not there. Hmm. Wasn't wanting to press that. Where's the rope? Are you here? Okay. And we need a three of you. It's going to take a bit to understand where everything goes. <laughs> uh, let's try this once more. I'm going to take you out of my hands. And, okay, we want to go that way now. It's hard to see. Come on. Beautiful. Okay, I want to say that is the right way. So it should come down and smack them. So they come there. They're going to come up to here. And I don't know if I should put another trap up here. Huh. Okay, let's see about getting some more foundations going on the side here. So if I can get some more of you. Okay. Okay, that should work there. And we're going to do the same on this side. I don't know if I have enough of everything for this. <laughs> kind of hoping I do. Okay, that is perfect. So now I'm going to have to put some more traps out here. So yeah, when the zombie gets close, it should set these off. If I could put another blade trap over there at the beginning, I'm wondering, can I re can I reload them from up here? No. Yeah, this one I can reload, but those ones I can't. We're going to have to hope that this works. Now, the only other thing I could do is add a second one of these. So hopefully that would do it. But how much do these other traps cost now? So the barbed wire needs one rope, two lumber, and two branches. Okay, so that could do some damage, I guess. I could put a couple of these at the bottom, but yeah, if we have to reload, it's not going to be easy. Okay. Compressor. What about the floor traps? Where are you guys gone? Here. So we need a trap machine, some more rope, and all that other stuff. Maybe we can get a couple of those put down at the bottom here. Not sure if it can go on the ground, but we're going to try. So let's go and get another trap machine done. I'm going to feel better once I am all set up here. So I need two copper wire, uh, a rubber, and a gear. Okay, so we're going to need... Oh, I think we have everything on us. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we're going to try. 
So I need to get some more copper, some more iron. Just seems like it's few and far between right now. Uh, you... I think you're a stone. Okay, you definitely have to be what I'm looking for. So we're in hour 18, which means we've got six hours until the horde hits. So this is going to be fun. Okay, there's a copper. That's perfect. Come on. You could do it. There you go. Yeah, that's just a regular stone. So it's you that I need. But yeah, if we can get spike traps along the bottom, maybe that will help. Come on. But yeah, I think I'm going to move the sleeping bag and put another one of those traps on top there, the, the cutter. And hope that's going to help us out a bit more. Let's see if there's any more over here. I've got uh, four coppers, so... Yeah, that's going to help us. You are stone. Okay. Yeah, this is not what we need right now. <laughs> you are stone. Yeah, this is all stone here. It's starting to get to nighttime. So let me see. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe right here. We could put another one of those. It won't hurt, right, to have another one? Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to go. I can only hope that this is going to go as well as possible. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see. So we need two copper wire each. And, oh, I don't have any rubber on me. Okay, we'll take the rubber. So when it comes to rubber, I can only make two. Here's, I need two iron ingots each. Ooh. Um... Okay, we're going to make, we'll make 10 of you to start. We'll make whatever I can make of you. And we'll start with four of you. Not sure what else I can make. Oh, I can make iron plate. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I got it. So we need... Ropes, planks, and logs. So uh, let's go with the. Uh, we'll start with five of you. And I have to go and get some more trees because obviously we are kind of out of it. There, let's go and grab these ones here. Oh, this. I kind of want to get a zombie after us now so we can see how it's going to go. <laughs> there. Okay, equipment, bench, craft, equipment, repair kit, equip. Okay. We're not going to worry about this stuff right now. We will take care of that as soon as we get through our first horde night. Because that's going to be... That's going to be something. That was I was going after, but you know what? It still works. And let's see, we've got eleven. You know what? We'll start with that. I have to get quite a bit of trees. <laughs> okay, so um, you. So we needed some lumber. So we'll go with five of you. And we need five rope and that other thing. Okay. 
So you still need a gear. So we should be able to put two of these together. So you know what? We're going to do another one of you. So we could do two of you. And I need five cloth. Okay. So five, uh, five cloth, five rope. Okay, that's good. So now we could put this strap together. I'm just gonna see if I can place it down at the bottom here. You must have noticed your energy Ooh. depleting. As your energy decreases, your maximum health and stamina also shrink, putting you at a disadvantage for survival. To restore energy, you need to eat. Yes. Find an energy bar in your inventory and consume it. Okay, we'll do that Managing right now. your energy is crucial for survival. Remember this directive and act on it. Um... Let's try that. There we go. Okay. We ate it. Didn't bring us up too much, but you know what? It brought us up some. But we will take another one just to be on the safe side. There we go. We are full. Still trying to figure out why that dot is there. So yeah, we've been as far as here. We still have a long way to go to get the main story going. But you know what? We're just going to wait for that. So if we go here, yeah, we've got a couple of things that it wants us to do. So you're done. That's done. Okay, that's working on and that and you are done. Okay, that's fine. So if we've got that trap there, that trap there, um, can I move you? I'm not sure if I can. Demolish. Okay, I know we didn't get everything back for this. While exploring unknown territories, it's common to get lost. There are times when you can't remember where the important places were. Flags can solve such problems. You can check the location of the flag on the map and even leave a simple note. Try placing a flag in places you deem important. It, it will be of great help. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. One thing at a time. So here, if we put you back here. That should be a much better place. So yeah, if we could get another spike trap up here, I think that'll do us some good. So if they do get through, at least we have this last line of defense because I don't know if they could actually jump up here. So mm, maybe another one on each side. Okay, we're going to start with one. So let's see you. So I need nails, rope, and some planks. Okay. Planks. Nails and rope. Nails. I am missing cloth for that. So here, let's do that. And beautiful. Yeah, so we could still get around it. So I just need to get two more and to do that i need to have two more of those and some more rope by the looks of it so <laughs> won't worry about that but do i have any more copper on me i don't have any more copper so that is what's holding us up right now is that but if we put spikes here maybe that'll stop them from jumping up just an idea because the spikes seem fairly cheap to make so yeah, I need rope, I need lumber, and I've got branches. So let's see. Make. I'm going to have to make more than that. So here, let's uh, do that. Make a bunch of you. 
And we needed lumber, but I don't know if I have enough. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of logs for that. That's okay. We'll go and get some more. Okay, so I've got 30 logs on us. Let's see if I could just get a couple of spike traps going up here. Uh, hopefully that is going to work. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know what more I could try. <laughs> this is all new to me, so we're going to try this. So let me see. If we go to here... So I need to get myself some more of those. So that's what we're going to do. So we are going to do... You know what? We'll do 16 of you. Why not? And... Going to... Place them. In hopes that they cannot jump up here. Because <laughs> if they can, then... Yeah, we're in trouble. I mentioned that the trap machine provides power to the traps, right? However, the trap machine doesn't have infinite power. Because of this, each trap has a limited number of times it can operate. To re-energize the trap machine, it's like winding up an old clock. You need to wind it up. To anchor the winding mechanism, you'll need a single twig. Shall we reload the cutter with a twig? Okay, let's do that. And I'm just going to place you here. Now, we've got to be careful not to jump on those because I've done it, and you know what? It hurts. So here, let's just go around. I might move this table out of there and maybe put it in the back over here. We'll see. Um, I wanted me to reload, but I can't reload because, well, we don't have anything to reload. So do I have sticks? Okay, so I have some branches on me, so we can use those to reload. We might need more. What else do we have on us? Um, a coin used to purchase goods at the kiosk. Oh, there's a kiosk. Okay. We'll have to figure that one out. Other than that, uh, we've got plastic. I want to say we're close to being ready. If I could get a couple of more traps down here. Just so that it stops them and maybe causes more damage. I'm not sure if they can get on top of the traps and jump up on top of here. Although the traps don't seem like they're high enough. Hmm. Hard to say. Maybe we'll keep it out one. Yeah, that might be a little bit better. Okay, so you, I need some more lumber. Uh, we'll go with that. And I've got three rope. Oh, we're going to need some more. Rope needs, yeah, needs a cloth. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's uh make a few more of you. Again, this is just trial and error right now. Trial and error. Oh, we're going to have to make sure to set our respawn point. Okay, one, two, three, four, so if we do the same thing over here. Oh, we're out of something. What are we out of? Lumber. Okay. I need like eight more lumber, but before I start anything here, let's uh, set that as the, the point there. <laughs> okay, so you... Look at me. Oh. I think that is everything we've got. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's try not to do that. And you. Okay, and then I turned... I just hoping this is going to work. It may not be the exact same as this side, but you know what? That is fine with me. Okay, we're going to wait for the Horde Night to begin, and we're going to see how this goes. We are almost at time to start this Horde. As you can see, that circle is just about to complete, 
And that is when this is going to start. And we're going to see how this is going to go. I'm not sure how this is going to work out for us. Maybe we should equip the shield. Hard to say if this is actually going to do it. But uh, it's worth a shot, right? Here we go, guys. I don't know how this is going to go. We might have to jump down. Uh, this might go really well. Yeah, let's put the light on just in case. We don't want to get too close to this in case they get up here. And if they do, then they're going to have this trap spinning. Come on, guys. Where are you? Oh, boy. Where are you coming from? I am not sure where they're coming from. I don't know if we can get on top of this, but... Guys? Um... Where are you? <laughs> oh! I hear something. There we go. They're coming. Oh, this is great. Yes. Yes. Do it. Oh, this might actually work really well with that there. Come and get me, guys. Wow. Okay, that is my new best friend. So here, let's see about reloading it. So we'll keep this reloaded at all times. I should have enough sticks, I hope, to do this. Yeah, you gotta come this way, buddy. Oh, can we make sticks? Oh, she got through. Oh, didn't get too far, though. Oh, I love this. But yeah, can we make sticks if we have to? Not there. No. No. Hmm. Not there. Oh, okay, we can. You know what? We're going to make some, just in case. Seven more. So that'll give us... Hey, guys, I need you to keep on coming, though. Got, uh, 33 branches. Oh, we've got more than that. Okay, we've got more than enough. We've got like 105 branches altogether. Okay, that's fine. Again, as long as we keep this one replenished, then uh, it should go well. <laughs> hey guys, where are you? Oh, here they come. They keep coming. I think this was our best investment. Come on through. Wow. Yeah, so we can't get on top here, which is great. <laughs> I love it. Even if they get close to here, we've got that spike trap there. That will take care of them. Here, we'll reload you. I'm gonna go and reload this one. There we go. Just one cutter won't be enough to fend off a horde of zombies that come at you like a wave. <laughs> Eventually, your defenses will be breached and you'll become dinner for the zombies. While it yeah. might seem like simply constructing numerous traps could stop the zombies, reality oh. isn't that simple. That's why an efficient arrangement of traps is necessary. To achieve this, you need to understand okay, we got the features of various traps, right? We're going to have to be careful because there's going to be some that are going to make it through. Trap called spiky floor. Well, why is that spiky constantly going? Slightly immobilized zombies oh, that one was stuck there. Disrupting their movement. I see. However, its damage is weak. So, relying solely on the spiky floor won't make it easy to handle an onslaught of zombies. 
Come on, guys. The ankle trap breaks their ankles, significantly reducing their movement speed. Of course, using this trap won't be straightforward and it can be activated only once if there isn't a trap machine to power it. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, this is working out very well for us. Okay, let me see. You nice and reload it, because you are our best friend for this. We're going to have to come up with a really, really good horde... Good horde base. Yeah, some of them managed to pass through, but you know what? Um, we've got this. So we've already been through the very first hour? Oh, wait, no. Okay. I think it went from 24 to, uh, from 23 to zero, right? I didn't pay attention. <laughs> it would make sense that it did, does that, but yeah, we shouldn't be too far off from this being done. Come on, guys. This is going a lot better than my first horde that I was trying to see how it would work. Because I didn't know what to expect when I was, uh, testing it, and... Yeah, I was doing circles around the base and trying to run them into the traps. <laughs> I, I was lucky enough to survive it. Oh, we've got more coming. Come on, let's do this. This is so much fun. Right, you gotta go around. Gotta make sure this is uh Yeah, it's running a little low on branches. There, let's uh reload you. No, I wanna reload. There we go. This one doesn't need to be reloaded, so that's a good thing. Now, I don't think we can get down to that spike trap to reload it, and I'm not sure how many sticks it needs, and the last thing we need right now is to get ourselves stuck down there with that. No, you're not gonna make it! You're not gonna make it! Nope, you didn't make it. <laughs> it's only the big boys that seem to make it, and those are the ones that we're gonna have to really get some good traps going for. Yeah, you didn't get too far, did ya? Reload. I think our trap system's working out great for this horde night. Come on, guys. Yeah, this is a little too easy. <laughs> I know the horde nights are gonna get more difficult with each night. I guess that means it's going to be having maybe more enemy that come after you, or maybe tougher zombies, I'm not sure. You keep going? I kind of feel like just, yeah, here, let's just rest while we're taking care of that. <laughs> Bring our health up a little bit. We should be okay doing this. Okay, let's get up in case we get a big guy that comes. Oh, that's... Yeah, that guy. There we go. We got him. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Come on, guys. Go around. You gotta come this way. Yeah, I think we're gonna have our house away from... Wow, I don't know what that was. But our house away from the, um, the horde base, it might be a better idea. Like, we'll have defenses on our house, but in general... Oh. Uh-oh. 
Out of sticks. Out of sticks. Reload. Get him. Yeah. Like, for Horde Knights, we'll just have our Horde base. And then for our main base, we'll have minimal defenses. Well, that didn't work out well for you, did it? I'm just wondering how many eggs we have to pick up here. <laughs> I'm gonna see how many research papers I have. Oh! Yeah, you didn't get too far. I don't think this one's rotating, is it? I haven't seen this one on top rotate. Hey buddy, I see you standing there. Are you waiting? He might be waiting for us. Hi, buddy. Yeah, I think we got him with that one. There we go. Okay, we're finished the first hour. So this should be almost done. I don't know if stuff here is blocking it. It's just like they're running into this thing and... Hey, buddy. Oh, there we go. It rotated. Yeah, you you didn't make it. <laughs> ah! Who are you and what are you doing? We've got a spitter happening. This is just the first night. But we've got so many bags happening. That's crazy. Reload you. Uh, okay, we still have 84 branches, so I'm okay with that. I don't hear anybody else coming, so here. Load. Yeah, that's, that's a tough guy, though. <laughs> Yeah, this has got to be almost over, right? Don't smack my stuff. I don't know if they can actually do any damage. There we go. Yeah, I think those spikes need to be reloaded again. Come on. Wow. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh-uh. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I think it's almost over. Um, guys? Oh, I see somebody running. I could have took a run down to try to uh, reload the spikes, but you know what? It's okay. I don't know how many waves we get at once. Like, is it only one wave and they're like way off in the distance and they're finally getting here or... Is it once you get rid of, like, a bunch of them, then another wave comes through? Not exactly sure how it goes. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we got somebody there. Really, buddy? It's not gonna turn out for you. Let's see how many research papers we have on us, because I know with these bags, we can definitely get research papers. So we have all of 26. Yeah, so we're going to see how many we get with what's down here. Oh, I think it's it's basically over. We just got the little stragglers here and there. Come on. 
As soon as we get the last of the stragglers finished, then we'll go and grab some of the loot. Oh, hey, big boy. Oh. Okay. Well, we got him. Okay, so we said we have 26. So here, let's just grab everything up here. I think that's basically it now. Oh. Hey, buddy. That was close. You've become quite proficient in gathering research materials. It's time to Come take here. your physical abilities up a notch. Are you ready to transform even stronger? You know that Okay, we're going to go and reload. No, we're not going to reload that. Become powerful, right? Yeah, I want to start with the assault agent research at the research desk. Do that. Want to take Oh. Yeah, this is a lot of eggs over here now. Oh, well, hello, boy. Okay, he's down. Do we have many more? Go. Okay, let's reload you. And these, everything in here looks decent. Okay, I think we did really good. So let's just reload all our traps here and make sure that they are all tip top condition, which they are. So that is awesome. And we have 245 research papers. Wow, we got over 200 papers from this run. That is awesome, but I am going to end it there, guys. And on that note, I wish you all a good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.